Mr. Fussy by Walter Hargreaves. Mr. Fussy was fussy about everything. Absolutely everything had to be neat and tidy and in its proper places. Mr. Fussy spent all day waiting with his father when he could start the forest with a sweet wine in his garden and trying to find special dust where they could possibly find special dust. So he spent all his time making sure that there weren't special dust. <laughs> One fine morning, Mr. Fuzzy was having breakfast. He was very fuzzy about what he ate. He opened the Marley pot. Ooh, he exclaimed. It's got this in it. And he spent the rest of the morning separating the best from the Marley. Or, as y'all prefer, the Marley for the best. Fuzzy out Fuzz pot, people used to call him. Then Mr. Fuzzy went out to his garden. He spent the rest of the day draining out all the blades. On the grass of the lawn, but the first part. <laughs> that evening, Mr. Fuzzy was in his kitchen on his silhouettes when he heard a crash outside. <laughs> Ew, what's to do? He muttered to himself and hurried outside to investigate. There were one gun in his hand and an old barrel suitcase in the other, and see if it on his face, said an untired person, Mr. Clumsy. Whoops! He said, holding up the garden gate. It came off my head. <laughs> Who? Why, well, Mr. Fussy, we're getting hard on the garden gate. Who are you? I'm Mr. Clumsy, Mike. Replied the entire person, grinning, and stepped forward to save Mr. Fussy's hand, but slipped over and found the lawn. Oh boy. My grass! cried Mr. Fussy. Oh, sweet Harry Yetta! My sweet grass! You bent it! And he got down his hands and knees and stood in his grass. But who are you? He asked over his shoulders. And why are you here? I'm your cousin, said Mr. Clumsy. Your long lost cousin from Australia. I've come to visit. Now, if you're a cross for your daughter, there be some family likeness between them. Ain't you pleased to see me? Continued Mr. Clumsy, knocking on a flower tail as he got up and picked up a suitcase, knocking over another flower tail. A three. <laughs> Mr. Fuzzy, quite obviously, wasn't pleased to see him. No, you better come in, he muttered. Crikey! Remarked Mr. Clumsy, went to the front door of Mr. Fuzzy's house. What a neat little place you got here. And he stepped inside and saw for his silhouettes, he often does, and knocked over his hair and saw the suitcase and found an untie here on the floor. <laughs> Whoops! He said. Mr. Fuzzy saw his eyes and he decided and go on silent to himself. Later that evening, after Mr. Fuzzy cut the meal and after Mr. Quincy helped with the washing up to a broken place, they sat down to talk. Mr. Fuzzy says he always did, in an entire fashion. Mr. Quincy says he always did, in a not so near type fashion. <laughs> uh, how long are you staying? asked Mr. Fuzzy. Oh, I don't know, mate. Grandma Mr. Quincy. A few days, a week, a year, I haven't decided. Mr. Fuzzy groaned, and then all on sign groaned to himself, and then went to bed. When he awoke the next morning, Mr. Fuzzy jumped out of bed and went to his bathroom. Oh no, he gasped. Oh no. Ah uh, yeah. Mr. Quincy's family before him. The towns were in the heap on the floor. The bath was full of water. There were pools of water on the bath before. And, oh boy, have a tool of toothpaste. What a mess. But don't worry, Mr. Fuzzy made all the entire again as quickly as he could. Then Mr. Fuzzy hurried downstairs. Morning, cuz, says his cousin cheerfully. I cooked your breakfast. Sit down. There was an awful mess everywhere. There we are, mate, said Mr. Clumsy, coming out for of fighters, plug of fighters, towards the table. Breakfast. And, as always, he swept up his services, and they just flew in the air, and they went all over Mr. Fussy. Sticky, greasy, yellow, white eggs. <laughs> oh my god. Whoops! Sam is a clumsy. And after a week, Mr. Fussy's house still not like Mr. Fussy's house anymore at all. Wow, oh, look at that. Let's see. 
But after two weeks, Mr. Quasi decided to move on. Thanks for having me, cuz. He said to Mr. Fuzzy. It was very nice to see you, he said politely. But one was thinking about itself white. It's very nice to see you giving, is what I was thinking. Cheerio! Said Mr. Quimsy, and off he went on his fast suitcase. Goodbye! Called Mr. Fuzzy, way meaning, good riddance. That evening, Mr. Fuzzy was in his kitchen, pausing an egg, when he heard a quest outside. Oh no! He groaned. Not Mr. Quimsy back again! It can't be! It mustn't be! It isn't! And, you know something? It wasn't. I thought it was something else. Somebody just was trying to miss the fuzzy's crying gate. Somebody can't help having more accidents. Actually, somebody you may have met before. I'll give you a hint. He has fantasies all over him. Uh, hello, Mr. Fuzzy! Smiled Mr. Bump. I can't visit! Oh, I thought my papa did you get that I still? I can't bump! Yes, I'm Mr. Bump! <laughs> oh, poor little <honey>, Bump! <laughs> Do <laughs>